Bruh. My eye uh, itches. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Camelin. Oh my God. I haven't filmed in a minute. It's been a really long time. Um, I can deeply apologize for that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a lazy person. Um, I just really like forget because I'm like either laying in my bed most of the time watching Supernatural or I'm just doing other shenanigans. So I'm sorry guys. <laughs> also, it kind of feels good to be back. I've been so inspired once again. It's like I film when I'm inspired and then I don't when I'm just feeling lazy, you know? But you know what? Attempt to number three. Let's try it all over again. Um, so today, obviously you click this video because you are going to college and you want to know, hmm, what should I bring for my dorm? Well, you know what? You've clicked on the right video because I'm here to help you. So, I'm gonna start off with a few things that I believe like are like top priority, middle priority, um, and like last priority. Like there are some things that you don't need, but I will be suggesting in the video. So just keep on watching. All right, so for my top first one, something that I really think you need, like as a person, I think you need this um is a brita brita water filter you know we're in college we have to stay hydrated somehow and i believe that you know maybe drinking tap water isn't the best option so bringing a brita you know filling up your water is going to help you out so much um first semester so okay just to catch you guys up I'm on my second semester of college, my first year, first year of college. And the first semester, I did not have a Brita. I was struggling, little old Camelin struggling with four gallons of water that I would buy from CVS, which is 15 minutes away from where I live. So in order to not go through that hassle of buying gallons of water and just wasting money each week with buying water, just 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 get a Brita. Like it's a better investment than you know paying like four dollars each week and you know uh, you know that isn't a lot but eventually it'll add up. Second of all is medicine. Ladies and gents, you need medicine. <laughs> I have gotten sick a few times here and I'm, I'm so glad I had DayQuil, NyQuil, Tylenol. All these things will help you get through the day, help you get through a week. And well, you know, our parents aren't here to be helping us out all the time. So, you know, take care of yourself, get some medicine. You'll need it. Don't think you're invincible. So yeah, <laughs> three, number three, you need a mattress pad. I know, I know some people can say like, oh, uh, you don't need a mattress pad. The mattress that they give you is perfectly fine. No, you will end up getting back problems. You guys should definitely get a mattress pad. Um, they have them at, okay. I don't know where exactly they have them. I bought mine off of, off of a friend, but I'm sure if you look one up, you'll find it. Actually, I will be putting, I would be listing where you can find these in the link below. So if you need some help. Shower shoes. So these shower shoes are something that is a must in college, especially because you're living with other people and Shit goes down 
in the showers. They do. They really do. It is disgusting, the things that are on them and on the walls and everything. And like, if you don't have shower shoes, most likely you will get a foot fungus infection, whatever. Just wear shower shoes for your sake and for like other people's sake. So shower caddy. Shower caddy is very important because you will be leaving your room to go to the bathroom. You know, a shower caddy is where you have all your shampoo. You have your shampoo, your conditioner, your body wash, yada yada. I suggest getting a mesh one where it has like the little handle. So because if you get a plastic one, they're okay, but they're most likely to get super dirty and just build up like a lot of dirt and mold. And I don't think you really want that on your stuff. So yeah, just get a mesh uh, shower caddy. Oh. And another reason why you should get one is because your your things are gonna be wet after you use them, and you don't need, you don't want to be drying them up all the time, you know. So if you if you just put it in your mesh shower caddy, it'll just end up drying itself. So you're welcome. So the other one is power strips, power. I don't even know how to call it, but the extension cords, those two. Um, they're so essential. Sometimes you want to place your microwave somewhere, but it's too far from the, the adapters <laughs> in the wall. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to call them, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It'll really come in handy and it will just help you with the placement of wherever you want to put your things that like need connection. It's a must. All right. Um. Next in line is command hooks. Girl, you're gonna need command hooks when you wanna place a certain painting or something on the wall. So most dorms, I don't, I think it's most dorms, I don't know, but where I go, uh, they don't allow you to make holes in the wall. So command hooks, this is where it comes super in handy you just put them on the back of your portrait and boom right there and you just place one on the wall place one on the portrait right there it just sticks right on and you don't have to go through the hassle of nailing you know your your painting to the wall so yeah it also helps with the decorations that you put on your door comes in handy command strips and hooks and the last like top priority is a fridge and microwave this is like so important because you're not going to be wanting like at 11 p.m to be going all the way downstairs where they have the microwaves and or to the dining hall to get something you can easily just have some ramen and heat it up in your room and just be happy. Or if you want some oatmeal, you don't have to go all the way to the dining hall to get milk because guess what? You have a fridge and you have milk there. So yeah, get a fridge and get a microwave. So moving on to second priority is a robe. So me personally, I, came in and I would always wear my robe, always. But my door is very close to the bathroom and people are barely walking by where I, like my little hole. So I don't really wear one, but it is essential for um, the people who are a little bit further. You don't wanna be showing everything. So yeah, a bathroom robe is essential. The second in second priority is storage containers and bins. You're gonna need them. You're gonna need them because you're gonna want to store a bunch of your snacks or I don't know, a bunch of things that you guys wanna keep under your bed. These storage bins will come in handy and um, we'll just keep them in place. The other one is a bed skirt. Um, and I'm not only talking to my gals out there, guys, 
come on. You don't wanna be showing everyone everything you have under your bed, right? So this is where the bed skirt comes in handy because it's going to cover everything you have under your bed. And it just makes it much more neat. It's a good investment. The other one is a vanity mirror. Um, I personally think it's super important because, well, not going to lie, in our dorms, I don't think we have such great lighting. And sometimes whenever we need to do our makeup and everything, you know, we need that, that good lighting for our makeup. So get a vanity mirror that has lights all around it so that, you know, you can do your makeup. Because, well, let's just say the lighting there is terrible for the makeup and that big mirror is just too much. Yeah. The other one is a desk lamp. Yes, desk lamp. Sometimes your roommate is going to be sleeping and you're still gonna be doing some work. So this is where a desk lamp comes in handy because if you wanna do work or just have a little bit of your own light to yourself but not want to disturb your roommate, desk lamp is the answer. And the other one is tea kettle. As I said before, I've used that tea kettle for coffee, tea, what else? Ramen, um, mac and cheese. It'll work, it'll work and keep you happy for the whole entire semester. You know, you just heat up some water, boom, you have your tea. Or heat up some water, put it in the ramen cup noodles, and you're happy. And then it, the last one in like my second priority is a fan. You're gonna need a fan. When you come to college, it is going to be super hot and you're not gonna want to be going to sleep without it. You're gonna be sweating. So I suggest getting a fan, guys. When I came here, I was sweating a lot. And I mean, good thing I brought a fan, but like if I didn't, it would have been worse. So we are moving on to the end of the video and this is the third priority list. Okay, so you guys don't need to get this, but I like honestly like super, super, super like recommend this is a headboard. A headboard, oh my God, I have one and I just like, I freaking love it. I love it because it adds so much to your room. It, it's what makes your room, your dorm room, feel like home, feel homey. So I honestly like strongly suggest getting a headboard and it is just a beautiful, like nice decor to your room. Also, um, they don't really sell that many headboards, but if you are gonna get one, it's kind of pricey, but it's worth it. Um, get the headboards that they sell at Dormify. Those have like a few adapters on the top of the headboard. So you just plug in your wire and you're good to go. And it's right there on your bed. A headboard adds a lot to your room. And so the other one, and this is the last one, because I don't want this video to be super long, is a rug. Um, so depending what kind of room you're in, you already might have a rug installed into your room or not. But either way, having your own rug that goes with your theme or goes with your own like aesthetic, goes with your own style, it really adds on to your room. And just like the headboard, it adds on to the decor and just makes it feel more you and not like you're living in school. So yeah, that was very important for me. So I don't know about you guys, but I was just suggesting a rug, you know? All right, guys, well, that is all I have for today's video. And honestly, I just wanna talk about my other video that I posted last year in the beginning of the school year. I have been getting so much love on that video and I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate you um, Everyone that has been commenting or reaching out to me talking 
um, to me like oh hey I came from your video I really loved it or oh yeah I know you from your video it really helped me out thank you guys thank you um, that really means a lot to me because just knowing that I'm able to help other people out just makes me happy so yeah and same thing goes with this video comment if you think this video is helpful comment let me know all right guys well it was nice seeing you guys hopefully i will be coming with another video soon i'm so sorry that i have been lacking but um love you guys bye